Oh, hello. Yes, uh, I have a few moments before I'm expecting the rest of my company for rehearsals. Tonight we play... Oh, uh, what was it? It was the Scottish tragedy last evening, and William Tell the night before, so it must be... Othello. That's the one. Never take up the monstrous theatrical profession, my dear friend. It is the life of a nomad, and difficult for one to tell whether it is Christmas or just Tuesday. Is it still 1828? Am I still William McCready? Why, just this spring I was across the Atlantic Ocean in New York, and now here I am in the... Where are we? Great Yarmouth? <laughs> I jest, of course. I know full well this place is Paris and Tesman. Why, wasn't your town all the news this summer with the hanging of that murderous cad, William Corder? Murder and dreams and a red barn? Remarkable. If I'd have put this on the stage, no one would have believed it. People seem to have more of a taste for the tragic in their real lives than they can stomach beyond the footlights. Take, for example, the tragedy of King Lear. Everyone thinks they know the tale with its wedding bells and its last-minute reprieves, but the great Shakespeare never intended such a honey-soaked ending. And I shall return one day with the real story. With betrayal and greed restored to its core, and no doubt there'll be letters to management about that. But how can we hope to progress as humans unless we can witness and understand our faults? Uh, would you like to read some of these lines and tell me they do not speak to your soul? No? Ah, well I shall. Howl, 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 howl. Oh, you are men of stones. Had I your tongues and eyes, I'd use them so that heaven's vault should crack. She's gone forever. Well, I shan't number you amongst my rivals. You're not a Kemble or a Keen. All that ridiculous monkey man I keep encountering on my travels. Monsieur Goof. Honestly, I work hard to portray an emotional and incredible world to my audience, and Monsieur Blasted Goof gets louder applause for jumping off the gallery dressed as a gorilla from the Africas. <sighs> now that I've depressed myself sufficiently for a rehearsal of Othello, I shall make my exit. Farewell. <laughs>